Hello, friends. Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com. Today we're going to talk about using follow actions in the context of a group. Um, this is a song that I did with a class that I was working with, um, and I've bounced all of the stems down and made it into this sort of a uh, situation so that I could eventually use it in one live set, even though we were doing multiple songs. Um, now, it's important to note uh, that I do not actually run my backing tracks the way that I'm about to show you, but I thought um, it might just make sense contextually if you could get an idea of how this works. Um, I have another video in the comments where I kind of explain how I do this, um, but the short answer is kind of as I... Each section is just a different starting point rather than... Um, having all of these clips be short clips, um, it just kind of allows you to rehearse better, but um, especially when you're working with children, um, you kind of want to rehearse the same things every time, um, which is yeah, why I don't necessarily feel the need to have all of the different clips cut up that way. But let's have a listen to the chorus. <laughs> Um, now, I could go in here and make it so that um, I assign a follow action for every single individual clip. But as you see, there are quite a few individual clips here, and that would take more time than I or you um, should want to invest. Um, the workaround for this is we can actually set follow actions for groups of clips. So if you group all of your clips together, and you can do that quickly by... Um, selecting whatever it is that you would like to group and hitting command G. Um, you will then be able to set follow actions for the whole thing. Now I happen to know that this chorus is seven bars long. So if we go over here and select our group and then come down and go into our launch, you'll see we have follow actions. So I want a seven bar follow action and I want it to trigger the next clip. Um, so now as soon as I fire this chorus, it is going to automatically get these guys ready to play, and after seven bars, it will fire the next clip. So let's have a listen. And that's the way that works. So you could, in theory, um, set up all of your songs in session view to kind of go in the correct order um, using this method. Uh, I happen to think it's a little bit easier to just change the starting point. Um, but that would be a good way that you could use follow actions um, within groups in an Ableton live set. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to Ableton, and especially if you're switching from MainStage, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the Fast Track Patch List Guide today, which will have you up and running uh, with a MainStage style patch list in Ableton Live. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here.